This is Buffalo Mountain, and we're gonna hike that today. So I'm not a big hiker and uh, I have hiked buffalo before and snowboarded down it. It was actually really sick. Check out this clip. <laughs> but sadly, there's no snow to snowboard down this time. But Damon and Kevin have never hiked a mountain before. What's wrong with you guys? Come on! Oh yeah, let's get going! Woo! So this whole part of Buffalo or the hike caught on fire like four years ago. The year before I quit my job to go full-time YouTube. And uh, it's pretty gnarly, it's still here. A bunch of the vegetation is growing back, but I did come up like right after the fire and film a pretty gnarly video. So we're gonna cut to that. So if you can see this like crazy amount of trees falling down, like laying down on the ground or whatever, that is why if you hike in this area, the wilderness area, you wanna make sure you stay on the trail. I tried to hike to the peak of red with my snowboard on my back and we just kept encountering all the laid down trees. It made it basically impossible to get to the top of that mountain, which Penn Mountain doesn't have a trailhead. Yeah, if you go off trail in this area, you're just gonna run into like down tree after down tree after down tree. We literally just walked over a tree in the trail. So fun fact of the week. Currently, we're like walking. This isn't like hiking yet. Buffalo cabin trail. This way. I told you I know what I was doing, guys. Pro tips of the hiking from Mountain Local Buckhouse. Starting to get up there. You can see the lake now, get some views. It means we're almost to tree line. I'll zoom in, but like that's how big the fire was that I was talking about earlier. And we've made it to the boulder field. All right, we're at almost two miles through the hike, and we made it to the sketchiest, gnarliest most epic kind of most fun section of the hike to buffalo and that's this boulder field you kind of just boulder on up it all right so before we head up the boulder field we got to mention today's video sponsor nordiv v8 these are hiking boots these things are their khaki versions and they're absolutely insane so we just hiked almost two miles in the boots through the rocky mountains climbing over gnarly rocks slippery gravel all kinds of stuff and i literally had zero issues with these boots the grip on the bottom was fantastic. Check it out. For the first day, literally putting them on going two miles, I have no weird pressure points, no like uh, blisters or anything. One thing I really like is the thin, tough shoestring. Sometimes you get these really like thick, not so tough. They're going to catch all the like pokers and sticks and stuff, shoelaces. So these things are incredible. Tons of hooks to make them nice and tight all around your ankle tons of ankle support. And I think this extra little bit in the heel area is incredible just for that wider foot step, even though I got a small footprint. So getting more grip, being able to reach more of the ground, this felt great. And also when you're stepping on these boulders, these hard rocks, especially in this section, this super thick sole is gonna be incredible for climbing up these mountains. So Norda V8, thank you for sending me these boots. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you guys want a pair of these, they're linked in the description. I might talk about them again on our way up to the top, but, uh, Let's hydrate, hydration is important, and let's go up. All right, boys, upwards and onwards, or onwards and upwards, or here we go. Wait a second. What are those? My hey dudes. Hey dudes, They huh? don't work as great as hiking shoes. Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta get damn a pair of these. These boots are made for hiking. And that's just what we'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna hike all over you. So Damon, didn't know when you see a pile of rocks like this on a trail. It's a trail marker. It means you're going the right way. Add a rock? Okay. A little past halfway on the boulder field. Doing good. Almost to the big, big, big rock at the top. You guys are killing it. Do you feel like animals? Gnarly. First ever hike, 12,700, what was it? 12,777 feet. And we're taking all 12,777 of them. We're under a mile to the top. We're like 
4.6 left. Oh, that's being tracked on my, uh, as we get higher and over to the top and it's like clouds are rolling in. It's getting colder. Whew. And like that, done with the boulder field. You can see the top right there. We're almost there. Look at the nice path we have now, boys. Smooth, mellow sailing from here. See, these are the holes you gotta worry about, damn it. That's where the rattlesnakes live. Hey, right. so close. 0.2 miles. It's right there, I see it. Look how crazy this rock is. It's like pointy, it's got black in it. That's the top, right there. What do you, where do you see me? I see you on Sam Mountain. You see me on top of the mountain? Yeah. I see you, I'm waving. I love you guys. You're so awesome. This is called Sand Mountain. All right, we're on top. We're on top of Sand Mountain. I love you so much, buddy. All right, bye. She's just like, why are you on my mountain? All right, all right. Basically, there. These boys hiking their first ever big boy hike, 12,000 feet. Damon says it's colder than he thought it would be. Kevin's not saying anything. With every step. We get so close! We can now see the other side. Look at these mountains! We've done it! Let's go! Welcome to the top of your first mountain, Damon. All the way from Wisconsin to the top of Buffalo. Born and raised in Colorado. It took 15 years and we finally got him up here. Now the trick to successfully hiking a mountain, or which keeps me motivated, dried fruit. So while we now doubt on this, I just want to say thank you so much, Team Up Guys, for uh, hiking a mountain with us today. Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this hiking. Snowboard channel.